Hi everyone, it's Katrina from PCSE again. And I want to show you how to complete a GOS1, which is really straightforward. Um, but I want to also let you see how, um, as a performer, if the patient that's had the site test requires a voucher, a GOS3, then you can go straight on to issuing that um, and some time saving features that we built into PCSE online to let you do that. So let's go to the GOS1 screen first. So this is the patient details screen. So I've just clicked create GOS1, started to enter the patient details. Um, sometimes the patient, if they're a new patient, they don't always know exactly when they had their last site test. So this patient has told me that it's January 2018. Um, and if I use that format, um, then actually the system will allow me to record that. So, patient eligibility, again, all the usual choices. Um, so, eligibility not seen. The patient is um, receiving income support. And we move through to the next screen. So, the patient is going to sign the declaration. Um, we're going to click that important button to check that we've captured all the right data first before we ask the patient to sign. That all looks fine. So we can get the patient to um, put the signature into the claim. Click accept. And we have signature captured successfully. So moving on to a performer declaration now. So as the performer, I have to say what the outcome of the site test was. So I'm going to say it was a new, a change prescription and I had to issue a voucher. Let's say it was a voucher B. Um, so I now have to sign that to say, yep, yeah, those are the correct details and it's awaiting final sign off by the contractor or the designated signatory. So coming to this page, what we'll see now is that I can't sign as a contractor signatory because I don't have that role, but I can create um, the GOS3 voucher. So this takes me straight to the prescription screen for our test patient, Miss Video Video. And all we need to do now is enter the prescription that we want to issue. So let's just say she is that's 2.75 with a 1.5 um, cylinder at axis 25 and she is plus 4.5 in the left eye um, in the left eye because she's about to be. So I sign that. Create the GOS3 voucher. And we've got the voucher that can be printed for the patient um, because they said they want to take it away or the patient um, may say, I'm just going to come back. Uh, so we don't actually need to print the voucher off. All the details are in the system for when they come back to the practice for dispensing. So very straightforward, straight through the GOS1 Create the GOS3 and the performance job's done. If there are any other scenarios that you'd like to see a video of just to help you um, work your way through PCSE online, then just let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.